Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 8. Uh, in the previous episode uh, it ended at uh, quite a big of a cliffhanger and uh, Soul was injured uh, trying to save Maka and uh, like yeah uh, I don't know how they'll be able to like get out of that situation unless and until uh, someone else comes in to uh, help them or they like the enemies willingly go away these two are the only options i can see and uh, let's see like uh, let's see what happens and um, how they are able to escape that situation okay so i'll be putting the uh, subtitles and the timer over here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay i'll be counting down three two one Go. <clears throat> okay, here it is. <clears throat> uh. Okay, this is a recap. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, like this guy is um I don't know if he's like okay in the head or something but he is being uh, manipulated as far as I can see like uh, the witch uh, the witch was uh, riding the broom she's probably controlling him or like making him do these things okay All right. Okay, like in the previous episode, I had a confusion that <laughs> I was confused. Like, who, who was they? They calling Medusa, and it was cleared up. Like uh, that witch who was in the broom, she's called Medusa, and uh, like. This is a like uh, the purple haired person who is like attacking them is a completely different person and uh, I still don't know his gender like he I think he is a guy because like he was saying that I don't know how to talk to girls and stuff like that but like uh, so I am thinking that that is a guy or I don't know. Okay. And here it is. Okay, the slash is not so deep as far as I can see. Okay, let's see what Krona does. Yeah. The, the witch is called Medusa.
<laughs> that thing is so creepy. Oh no. Um. Uh, will, will, will someone come to help them? And uh, uh, okay, someone is. Oh, this must be his dad, uh, her dad, isn't it? Uh, this side, isn't it? Oh no! It, 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 oh, uh, um. Yeah, yeah, it is his dad, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, thank God. <laughs> um, that's not the time for that, I think. Well, you're pretty much like you're extremely powerful, so. <laughs> What the hell is this thing? <laughs> is that his weapon? Like... I mean, uh, like soul. He's the reason. I doubt it. One stitch prior. Oh. Okay, okay, I get it. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Damn, this guy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's very mean. That is extremely mean. <laughs> oh god. I doubt he can last because like these guys are extremely experienced. And a new experience. Okay. Ooh. Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that is pretty clever. Okay. Oh, so he can like use his blood individually as well, like. Okay, this is a pretty like annoying power. Hmm. Pulling nature or Oh Oh What? Oh that must be Medusa. Oh, 
Okay. Come on. Oh, oof. Damn. Oh no, oh, 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 oh. Uh, did his eye get pierced or something? Oh no, no, no. Okay, okay, let's see. Come on. Like. Like they're the strongest. They must have something. Okay, what the? Oh, <laughs> damn. Okay. And it's over. It's over. And it's over. I can feel it. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Um Yeah. Oh. Okay. What is what is Medusa going to do? Like he's in trouble. Oh my Okay, his his blood is rejection. Okay. Like this is like an experiment for her. <laughs> okay, this is pretty serious. Which, yes. Okay, so these are witches, like. The only one we got to know was Blair and she was not a witch, she was like a cat. Okay, they are pretty different, like, this is a whole new power level. Okay, hmm. Hmm. Like that soul protect was, I think, probably something that was like suppressing it. Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Huh. Well, we have a long way to go. What type of us incantation is that? Hmm. Okay. 
Well, he's pretty strong. I doubt it can like hurt him. Okay. Now it definitely can't hurt them. Okay. Like her tattoos are like real snakes. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like a uh, soul is like injured. You have to like quickly go back as fast as possible. Ugh. Hmm. Oh yeah, Stan is like uh, a master of that. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever response is that? <laughs> Okay, who is this? One star kid? Oh yeah, they were like this. Yeah, there, there's something like the star system. I forgot, apparently. Mm. It's probably fine. Yeah. No, he wants to. Go sh yeah, she wants to go back. <laughs> mm. Okay. Oh my god, okay, that is bad. Okay, so like this can become a positive aspect for him as well or a negative aspect like
Well, he is pretty loyal, like. Oh my god, here he comes. You're going to kill him. What is this? Eh? What the hell? Wait a minute! What? So, so that means she's like disguising herself like this? And as always. <laughs> okay, that was unexpected, like... Oh my god. Okay, like... Uh... Hmm. Okay. No. <laughs> well. <laughs> My God. <laughs> okay. The, the, this became a bit. Well, that was unexpected. I was never expecting something like that. Hmm. Okay, like... Uh... Wait, uh, wait a second, like... Didn't they, like, s see her when they were fighting? Oh, okay, I, I I don't like I have, to, I have to check that again like after they like f the, the end, fighting ended like as far as I can remember like as uh, Stein and Maka's dad saw the witch or was she like uh, in the darkness so they were unable to recognize her okay I'll just check that out a bit out again Okay, let's see if this is the... Yeah, that's the end. Okay, that was the end of episode number 8 of Soul Eater. Now, um, excuse me, uh, let's see, uh, I'm gonna talk one by one about this episode. Okay, so like, uh, first of all, we get to know that uh, Krona is a bit different from the others, like uh, in the way that uh, in in, in uh, Mark and Soul situation, like or in Black Star situation, on all the other Meister situation, and their weapons uh, exist individually, like they're like a separate entity, and they can like transform whenever they want, and like they fight together, and uh, their soul kind of resonates together, and they get more power. Now in the, his case, in Kronos case, uh, his uh, weapon, that is Ragnarok, is like fused inside him. And uh, his blood is the weapon. And uh, as far as I can understand, 
his blood is the weapon and um, his uh, like his blood can like and uh, his uh, weapon has uh, like definitely has a will on its own and at the same time it is like the weapon is controlling him like uh, as uh, Stein and uh, Marcus dad said that uh, it is like uh, he was getting bullied by the weapon and as far as he's rejecting uh, nah, uh, uh, until and unless he's reject uh, no uh, he's rejecting him continuously the bullying so whenever he stops rejecting and like accepts the bullying like the thing will get more the situation will get worse and that is not good for them and i think that that is when uh, like they're going to turn into christian souls as they said that uh, this is a stretch prior to the christian soul so like um and I think like Medusa kind of was experimenting on them and uh, I think like uh, it's not clear but as far as I could understand uh, that is what was happening here like Medusa was kind of experimenting on them and uh, they're also like in this type of situation where they might become Kishin soul if uh, this continues and uh, what else okay um and uh, stein and um uh, Marcus dad like they are pretty strong but yeah like they are quite a bit of strong we we got barely got to see their power in this episode because like they didn't need to show them and uh, i think that they like they are a lot more capable uh, I think that they they could have like easily wiped the floor with uh, Corona, but due to outside interference and everything that happened, uh, he got away. Mm, and uh, what else? Like that power, like blood hardening power. This blood, like even if it is like uh, what do you call it, outside his body, and because his blood is a weapon, it can harden itself, and. Uh, we also see that uh, Krono has a curse I think I don't know if that is a curse or like uh, they say that uh, there's a snake coiling around him uh, I think that is Medusa snake or whatever that is like some kind of uh, controlling thing or some kind of curse whatever that is and it is like uh, making them do these things or like forcing them to do these things I don't know but uh, there are like two problems with Krono for the first problem is like his weapon is like kind of like bullying him and um, uh, like his weapon is the master in this case like uh, they're not partners they're like in a, a dominant and submissive role and that was that is the first problem with him and the other problem is that uh, even like uh, like here the, here's the thing Krona is being controlled by his weapon I think and both of them Krona and the weapon is being controlled by Medusa so yeah it is like some uh, i don't know and uh, what else and uh, oh yeah another thing i, I was a bit like uh, I'm not confused but i i thought that uh, why the hell is maka not able to uh, sense medusa uh, the uh, it answered itself that he was she was like using some kind of protection and uh, that that thing that magic thing was uh, not letting her presence out and so Maka was unable to sense her even if she was even though she was a lot stronger than Krona so now here is the thing now we can see here that uh, Stein and uh, Maka's dad are kind of looking at the sky and they can probably like make out the silhouette of the witch but do let's see if they did they like see her i doubt this saw her properly like um wait a second we can see here that she's attacking with the cobra and uh, yeah they are kind of like okay and now here's the thing i think like um the the reason why they were not able to recognize her was because first of all here she was hooded like she she's like uh, wearing a hood kind of thing and uh, <laughs> like her witch the, the the face that he wears when she is doing witch things like here like her face is like 
extremely what do you call it like <laughs> sinister and uh, everything and uh, the tattoos are also like uh, another kind of like disguise i think that is the reason why now, first of all like she was wearing a hood so they were unable to like see her hairstyle and uh, uh, see her face properly that is the first reason and the second reason i think is like uh, <laughs> like when she, when she is working as a nurse in the school uh, she's like all happy and uh, very like what do you call it calm mm, calm person calm woman and but here she's like uh, laughing sinisterly and her eyes are like pointed and <laughs> face uh, twisted and everything so i think these are the like the reasons why like they were unable to sense like uh, recognize her and and also because of that soul protection thing like uh, like for example here it is like here she was like protecting her soul uh, with that power that magic so mark was unable to uh, recognize her uh, and i think that in when she is at school she's also kind of uh, using that power as well that is she's also like protecting her soul from being uh, detected from others so mark neither mark nor the others were able to recognize him based on her soul uh, what do you call that soul energy or whatever that is that they can uh, sense so like they are unable to recognize her by the appearance and also by the soul so i think that is the reason why they were not able to recognize him uh, recognize her and uh, and as i said like um, stein said that uh, there is a little bit of complication with soul not complication but um a little bit of anomaly that is like his blood got mixed with ragnarok's blood so here is what i think this can either go to, uh, two ways uh, this can go two ways either it can like uh, i don't know uh, enhance his strength or like add to his power this is the first uh, like path that it can take or it might get problematic later on like it might act as a poison as well so like i i just think can happen and um like it can go good if like uh, like it can either be some kind of beneficial thing for soul or it can like be a poison to him because like in anime we usually see these kind of things like uh people kind of fear about something but uh, at the end we see that it, uh that isn't that was nothing to be feared about but it is something that is like uh strengthening the person so like it can go either way and uh, we're going to see later on probably what is going to happen and uh, yeah another thing is like uh as maka said that i'm a lot weaker and i kind of like believe that as well like as we have seen uh, soul is extremely strong uh, not extremely strong that is a bit like far fetched but he is pretty strong so and uh, as far as i um, uh, like noticed maka is strong but she is only strong when his uh, when her enemies are either weaker or at the same level as her whenever she kind of like uh, meets someone who is a lot stronger than her and as i've said this before this is mainly because she can uh, gauge the intensity of uh, the other enemy's soul so that is the reason why it also kind of startles her and she gets scared easily because of that intensity uh, that overwhelming pressure of the soul so like uh, i think she has to like get used to it and uh, as she said that i have a long way to go and i like uh, she has to become a lot stronger so that she can protect herself and soul as well so like the first thing she should do is probably like hammer that fear down uh, hammer that fear down and even if she is like facing someone a lot stronger than her uh, she should not like what do you call it uh, get scared or uh, like get intimidated uh, that is the first thing she should do she should like train her emotions first then her outer physical strength she has a lot of strength she can do soul resonance as well so emotional aspect is needed the training of emotional aspect is needed here and 
we see uh, and I was like extremely surprised about the sudden appearance of Medusa here with a, with a nurse costume uh, not costume but a nurse attire like that, that really like surprised me I was not expecting that at all and I really can't understand why like uh, I expected it's time uh, Marcus dad to at least recognize her but <laughs> as we know Marcus dad <laughs> he is like what do you call it <laughs> as you guys saw like he, he was clinging to her leg <laughs> and rubbing her his face all over the leg and uh, yeah so I don't know and uh, this might be a problem later on because she is like inside the territory of uh, like the enemy is inside the territory so yeah okay so that was this episode uh, that was enjoyable and uh, thank god that there is no more cliffhanger in this episode and uh, uh, what else oh well uh, we've not seen kid for quite a few episodes I hope that they should show him more because it's extremely funny <laughs> and uh, mm, like uh, this episode was extremely good in that sense that it surprised me a lot like it uh, really took me by surprise at the end and the sudden appearance of Medusa in inside the school was extremely surprising and that is a job well done and that is a really well what do you call it uh, I don't know like uh, was I the only one surprised I don't think so like that was really unexpected like she suddenly came out and uh, like <laughs> what uh, what can I say anyways uh, thank you guys for watching uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't comment down below your opinions about this episode uh, episode uh, anything you want to share with me comment down below and uh, I'll be back with a new Soul Eater episode next week. Uh, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.